May is National Pet Month, although I think every month is Pet Month. They get so much love, care, and attention every day. If you have fur babies, you know what I'm talking about. It's true. But pets add so much to our lives. Here's a look at our dog, Kevin, sharing his bone with baby Rocco. We can't keep him off the bones, man. <laughs> we don't know what to do. And since I don't have a pet, here's my dad's cat, Annie. This is, <laughs> now see, this is, there's two versions of Annie. This is when she's in a good mood and she's looking nice and my dad is around. Uh -huh. And then if my dad goes away, <gasps> this is what Annie looks like if I try to get near her. Oh, like, wow. Like, she immediately turns about face and she gives me this scowl, like, who are you and why you are you, you, you here? That yes. sums up cats to me. Well, not I've all I've never cats. really owned some, a cat no, Some before. cats are just lovely. All the time. Creatures, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we have great news to report about another pet. We're talking about Gaston, the adoptable dog from the Animal Rescue, Animal, Humane Animal Rescue, I'll get it out, that, that we, we featured last week on PTL. Well, we're happy to report Gaston got adopted over the weekend. Oh. Thanks in part, we're very sure, to the shelter's clever write-up about his personality. Remember, it was set to the theme of Gaston's song from Disney's Beauty and the Beast. And then Heather just kept singing it. Well, I sang it all weekend long. <laughs> I finally did. got it out of my head until today. But well, that's certainly good news. And you planted it in my head. Because I, Saturday morning, I had it in my head. I'm cleaning the house singing. Yeah. All right, well, there are many other pets waiting for a new home like Gaston. And Mikey Hood joins us from the shelter on the north side with another dog available for National Pet Month. Hi, Mikey. Good morning, Heather and David. Hi, good morning. Yeah, so it May is National Pet Month, and so that means I have a cutie patootie with me here today. Look who we have here. Look how cute. I'm here with Melissa Smith. She is from Humane Animal Rescue. Melissa, tell us about, this is Sophie, right? Yes, it is. So this is Sophie. She is a nine-year-old pit bull mix. Um, she came in about a month ago from our partner shelter in Cleveland through a transfer. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's been with, with us since then. Um, she's a senior dog, so we've been taking care of some medical issues with her, um, but we hope that she's available for adoption soon. Yeah, and so what type of family would she be good for? So she's pretty high energy for a nine-year-old dog. Um, she likes to go on walks and play. Um, she is good with other dogs as well, but she does love, love. Um, she likes butt scratches and cuddles. <laughs> so a family that you would like, enjoy hanging out on the couch with her would be just fine. You like butt scratches? <laughs> so you were saying something to me earlier that, I mean, this is a great time to adopt a yep. pet because so many people are home right now, but you yep. don't have that many anymore. Exactly, yeah. So. Right when COVID hit, uh, we had a lot of adoptions because so many families who may have been looking previously to adopt but just didn't have time for it, now have time. So we got so many animals adopted in those first few weeks of COVID happening. And since then, due to some of the measures that we've had to put in place, um, we just don't have as many animals coming into the building now. Mm -hmm. um, so we're at this weird place where people are looking to adopt, but we just don't have that many animals at the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. You Sophie, you like your butt scratches? <laughs> <laughs> and you also have some other programs that you're doing. You have a food giveaway, a food pantry? We do. So we normally operate, it's called Ellie's Pet Food Pantry. Mm -hmm. um, and it's one of our pet retention programs to help people who have pets who may not be able to afford um, their pet food for a little bit of time. So we've increased our normal distributions, about tripled the, the amount that we're distributing to people and have set up some special uh, distribution days. We've recently partnered with the YMCA and we're coming up on a partnership with Eaton Park to help some of their furloughed employees get pet food during the time that they're unemployed right now. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Melissa. And if you're interested in Sophie here, you can you can go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We'll have the link for her, and she is looking for such a good home. Heather David, we'll send it back to you. Bye, Sophie. She oh. is so cute. Kind of reminds me of the dog from The Little Rascals. That's what you said immediately yes. when you saw her. What I just love that her tail wagged the whole time. The whole time. Yeah, she likes being on TV. She does. Yeah. She'll, be, she'll be in a new home soon. I have no I, doubt. I think so.